What is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex back with yet another video for you guys. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, let's jump right into the topic of this video. So what can we expect from Aiden O'Connell as a starting quarterback for the Las Vegas Raiders? Aiden O'Connell has officially been named the starter against the Steelers. And depending on how he plays moving forward, he could be the starter for the rest of the season. But that's all just going to depend on how he performs. And today I just wanted to jump into the film and just kind of analyze what Aiden O'Connell will bring to this offense. And how he differs from what we had with Garner Minshew these past five weeks. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tape. Now the first point I will make is I think Aiden O'Connell will be a lot more consistent when it comes to throwing the ball accurately. Here in the last game we can see it's first and goal and Gardner Minshew on this play he had Brock Bowers wide open and he just overthrows this and it results in a pick six. Really it was just an inexcusable play that just shifted the momentum in this game. If Aiden O'Connell's out there I think he makes that throw for sure. Here we're going to get another example of a missed throw from Gardner Minshew as he had Brock Bowers wide open coming out of the backfield and if he's able to hit him right here, hit him in stride, this could have gone for big yards. So Minshew was very inconsistent when it comes to his ball accuracy and his placement. Here a clip from Aiden O'Connell here he shows good accuracy on this out route to DJ Turner along the sideline throwing it from the opposite hash outside the numbers good stuff right here. Here's another example of a very accurate throw he's going to hit Jacoby Myers across the middle on this dig route hits him right in the hands just look at the placement right there and with good timing overall on this rep. Here he's going to connect with Trey Tucker and once again hits him right in the hands. Good accuracy from O'Connell. I think Aiden O'Connell will give us a lot better anticipation as well as a quarterback. Here on this play we're just going to see how the ball is already coming out of his hands before Jacoby Myers completely makes his break on this and gets his head around. And once again just a good pinpoint accurate pass. And when it comes to Gardner Minshew, like we'll see on this play, sometimes I notice too he gets happy feet and he kind of goes into scramble mode where he just puts his head down, tries to use his legs to escape pressure and that results in him missing throws down the field, missing reads as we can see on this one with DJ Turner coming free. As a quarterback you always got to keep your eyes down the field. I also think Aiden O'Connell is going to do a better job getting the ball out quickly, especially when his first read is wide open. Here we can see he knows what his first read is right there. And if he ever sees him open, he will immediately get the ball into his hands. He's able to get this quick dump off pass to Brock Bowers. And I think we do need to do this a little bit more. Get the ball in a guy like Brock Bowers' hands whenever it's possible, especially on first down. And especially with his ability to get yards after contact. Once again, he gets the ball out quickly right here on first down and this should help the offensive line moving forward. If we can get the ball out quickly, put a little bit less stress on the offensive line. But I will say we do have to find a way to hit teams down the field so they respect the deep pass. Now one thing that I think we're not going to get with Aiden O'Connell is he's not going to be as good at throwing the ball on the move. Here on this play we can see him he has to move outside the pocket off the play action pass and this throw wasn't even close to Trey Tucker. Once again this play is in the preseason but this is another example of him throwing on the move to his right and once again the throw hits the turf not even giving his wideout a chance to make a catch on this one. Here once again he's forced to escape the pressure and he throws this ball high and this was a dangerous throw especially with all that traffic behind him. Any type of overthrow like this especially in traffic could easily result in an interception. But I will say Aiden O'Connell isn't completely terrible at throwing on the move. As we can see on this rep he's forced to step up in the pocket 
He moves to his left and he throws this pass on the move. And this was a pretty dangerous throw as well, but he's able to fit this in there. Great accuracy and ball placement. And also a huge shout out to Jacoby Myers. Makes a spectacular catch getting both feet in bounds. So I'll just say Aiden O'Connell thus far is a lot more inconsistent throwing on the move compared to Gardner Minshew because when it comes to throwing on the move, I will definitely give Gardner Minshew the edge on that aspect. When it comes to throwing on the scramble drill, that's kind of where he thrives in. As we can see on this rep, he's able to create a big play off of essentially a broken play from the offensive line. So when it comes to this aspect, throwing on the move and trying to make plays when the pocket breaks down, which it will, the way this offensive line has been looking, I do give Gardner Minshew the edge on that aspect. Also too, I don't think Aiden O'Connell is gonna use his legs to scramble as much like Gardner Minshew did. Here on this rep with Aiden O'Connell, we're going to notice he does not handle the pressure very well. He literally runs backwards towards his own end zone. That's never a good idea. And especially with his type of speed, I mean, let's be honest, he's not going to outrun anybody. And this almost results in a disastrous play for the Raiders. And Gardner Minshew does have the ability to sometimes just tuck it and run it and get a first down using his legs when the opportunity is there. But I don't really see Aiden O'Connell doing that for us moving forward. Now, when it comes to throwing the deep pass, though, I will say it's to be determined, in my opinion, because Gardner Minshew did surprise me a couple different times this season. He did hit on some big throws down the field this season. Now, Aiden O'Connell is definitely very capable of hitting the deep passes. He has a bigger arm than Gardner Minshew, but I just feel like just analyzing him from last season, I feel like sometimes Aiden O'Connell is a little bit too hesitant to pull on the trigger and take those risks down the field. He's more of a guy that's going to throw it deep when the look is there and when somebody's open down the field. But on those plays where maybe it's not super obvious that it's open and you have to kind of take a risk, take a gamble down the field, I didn't really see him take those type of chances, which I think he should be a little bit more aggressive throwing down the field. He has the capability of making more big plays with his arm down the field. But overall, this is going to be a big test for Aiden O'Connell and his first start of the 2024 regular season, going up against a very good Steelers defense. Now, the Pittsburgh Steelers defense in 2024 is shaping up to be one of the best units in the National Football League thus far. They are currently ranked second in the NFL, allowing only 14.6 points per game. They have done a great job limiting the scoring of opposing offenses this season. Also, too, their run game is super stout, ranking fifth in the National Football League, only giving up, on average, 91.2 rushing yards per game. And that's something that the Raiders have struggled with all season long. The Raiders have not been able to run the ball effectively. And also, we're not going to get any rushing yards from the quarterback. Compared to what we were getting with Gardner Minshew, every now and then he would scramble for 10, 15 yards. And I don't really see that happening with Aiden O'Connell. So I think this offense is going to have to find a way to establish the run. We're going to have to do a lot better on first and second down. We cannot afford to continue to get into third and long situations. And Luke Getz is going to have to switch it up. Maybe don't run all the time on first and second down. Maybe we're going to have to throw it and then run. But the Steers being a great unit when it comes to stopping the run, we just cannot afford to have those type of games where we're having 30 yards on the ground from our starting running back, where we're averaging two and a half yards per carry, that sort of thing. And I thought the run game was going to be a little bit better with Alexander Madison as a starting running back, but that was not the case. And once again, we're going against a defense that's very good at stopping the run. So that's going to be a huge thing for this offense this week. The Steelers defense has also been super effective inside the red zone, ranking third in the NFL, allowing touchdowns only on approximately 33% of opposing red zone trips. Overall, I feel like this game will be a huge test for the offensive line as well. We have to find a way to slow down defensive end TJ Watt and not allow him to sack Aiden O'Connell multiple different times in this matchup. Personally, with the move to Aiden O'Connell, I feel like that's going to give us a lot more consistency throwing the football with his accuracy. And one thing I also think we should see from Aiden O'Connell is I think he's going to give us better ball security, not turning the football over. I think that's definitely a contributing factor into why AP made this move. Gardner Minshew, not only was he missing throws, but he was 
coughing up the football too much. We are putting our defense in a lot of bad situations. So I am expecting Aiden O'Connell to do a better job protecting the football for this offense. And he should help spark some life in this offense. I just feel like with Minshew, he does give us bigger upside for bigger plays, but he just wasn't consistent. He's missing a lot of easy throws and missing a lot of reads. So I think the change to O'Connell was justified. But personally, I feel like the biggest factors for success for this offense, in my opinion, will be the performance of the offensive line and the run game, which has been a huge issue for us all season long. Can the Raiders offense come back to life this week with Ain O'Connell under the helm? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, Raider Nation. But with that being said, anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider related content just like this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. That being said, I will see you guys in the next one.